Hey everyone, it's Mike here from The Art of Guitar. The other day I put out a post on social media and uh, it was a story about one time I tried out for a band and it went really well. But afterwards I asked somebody in the band who the leader was and they looked at me funny and they're like, we don't really have any leaders in this band. Uh, it's a complete democracy, everybody has equal say. And uh, they seemed really excited about telling me that. But as soon as I heard that, I immediately lost interest in joining the band. And when I posted that the other day, it got a strong reaction from some people. A lot of people agreed with what I said, but some people were actually kind of angry at me. So I wanted to put together this video to get your opinion on the matter, but also to explain why I felt that way. At the time of the tryout, I was looking for a band that was a working band, that was playing shows, recording, writing, all that good stuff. And uh, I realized that in my experience, uh, being in a lot of projects, the bands that were the most successful in that area were bands that had strong leadership. It was either one person or it was a couple people in the band really pushing things forward. And it's funny because you can't always tell who the leader is in the band. Sometimes you think it's the lead singer because they're the ones uh, talking to the crowd and the front person. But then you find out it's like the keyboard player or the bass player or somebody. And uh, it's kind of funny because it's not always obvious who leads the band. Sometimes it's more behind the scenes kind of stuff. I also come from a martial arts background. So there's a definite structure to that where you have the instructor uh, with the black belt standing in front of the room and then the rest of the students follow in their lead. And even within the group of students you have different color belts so you know where you are at all times on the totem pole. This happened also when I joined orchestra in sixth grade. You know you have the conductor leading everything but then even within the students you had first chair, second chair, and so on. On the other hand though the bands that I was in that didn't have a clear-cut leader or any type of leadership I always seemed to just spin its wheels. It seemed like we would practice all the time, but we never got out of the basement. And I had friends that had projects that didn't have a clear-cut leader, and they all had the same experience. They all practiced for a long time, but they never quite made it out of the practice room. One band actually practiced for over five years, and that's all they ended up doing. They just kept coming up with new songs to practice, but they never played a show. I remember asking my friend, is there anyone in the band that has any kind of leadership role? And he's like, no, we all just sort of pick songs and we play them. And uh, it really hit me that that was what they were missing. They were missing that one person to break the tie. Whenever there was a split, like two people wanted to do something and two people in the band wanted to do something else. I really feel like you need that voice that uh, just makes the decision. Adam Dirtz from Counting Crows once said something that stuck with me. He said, uh, when you're writing a song and there's a bunch of people in the room and they're all trying to agree on the best creative ideas, you end up with sort of a lowest common denominator of creative ideas because you're trying to get everybody to agree on one thing. He said, that's the case where I have to step up and make the final decision. The bands that I was in that had great leadership I always went very far and it was because the person who was in the leadership role was actually leading in a positive way. So they walked the walk, they did the work, they weren't just there to point their finger and boss people around. And I think a lot of people have had bad experiences with bad leaders in the past and so they have a real negative view of uh, the idea of having a leader in the band. They think someone's gonna become a dictator, uh, point their finger, just boss everybody around and uh, not do the work themselves. And to me, that's not true leadership at all. I've been in bands before where I joined knowing right away that I was not gonna be in any kind of leadership role and I was okay with that. For example, the Motley Crue tribute band that I'm in, I already knew who the leaders of the band were and uh, they've been doing it for a while. So I didn't feel like it was my place to just walk in and be the newest member and start to boss people around or something. It's just not the way my brain works. So I chose to be in this band knowing that my role was going to be just to be part of the band and to almost be like the auxiliary player in a baseball team where you just do what's needed. And the best part of joining a band knowing you're not gonna be in a leadership role is that if you don't like how they lead the band, you can always quit form your own group, or find a whole nother group of people to work with. Now, I'm not saying that not having a leader could never work. Uh, I'm sure it's happened where a group of people just all have equal say. A lot of the times that works out if they all think along the same lines and there aren't too many disagreements. But one thing I found that is if you have a group of people that don't want to proclaim a leader in the band or n no leader emerges, let's say, Getting a manager always seems to help that situation. So whether it's a professional manager or just a friend of the band that could come in and sort of break up the ties if there ever is one, or just make some of those decisions like a leader would for the group, be the spokesperson for the group, 
book the shows, all that kind of stuff, that can help in that situation. And I've seen that work many times. But like I said, without that leadership, a lot of bands just sort of spin their wheels and sputter out eventually. So my final opinion on all this is if you wanna join a band and be a part of a band that is playing a lot of shows and really doing it up, I feel like it's important to have a leader in that situation. If your aim is just to hang out, play once in a while in the basement, have a few beers, you know, just kind of do it for fun, then I don't think it's important to have someone steering the ship. But I hope this video helps anybody who's in a band that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Maybe the problem is, is that nobody has taken the reins yet. No one stood up and said, you know what, we're gonna do this and uh, have the competence and the confidence to uh, have everybody want to support that uh, vision of leadership. So let me know what you think about it or if you've had any experiences, no matter uh, what direction it goes, whether it was with a leader or leaderless, and uh, maybe you had a great experience or a terrible one, but I'd love to hear about it. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching and we'll catch you at the next video.